in this series of videos I'm going to be talking about insurance um, let's let's start off uh, by asking ourselves why do we take out insurance uh, the main reason that anyone takes out insurance is because this thing called risk aversion right so we most people are risk averse so say I have uh, say say I have a car now there is a chance that um, if if there is a accident right so if there is an accident um, I'm going to have a damage bill of say uh, $2,000 right and now this, this is only a small chance so something like the, like uh, one one percent chance so uh, every t every hundred times I, I take out the car okay it's actually much smaller than that, than that I'm not I'm not that bad of a driver say say something along the lines of 0.01 percent so every 10,000 times I take out a car there's a 1 percent chance so there's a 0.01 chance that um, I will get into an accident and have a bill of two thousand dollars so what I do instead is I take out an insurance premium uh, and, and I um, and I pay an amount so usually usually um, even though it's two thousand dollars every year I'm paying five hundred dollars now why is okay maybe not 500 but uh, it'll be in somewhere in the order of uh 300 so so in in uh six years time so in six years time i would have paid uh 1800 and in seven years time i would have i would have ended up paying 2100 right so in seven years time this amount is uh greater than that but i mean why am i paying this and it all comes down risk aversion. Um, it turns out, well, for one, you won't be owning that car for seven years most 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 of the time. And the second thing is, um, you're you feel like you're better off uh, paying that three hundred dollars and having a peace of mind, right? So this is what we're going to try and quant quantify and talk about the maths behind this in this series of lectures. Okay, I want to start off with the first thing. Uh, which which any uh, insurance course should cover and that's called the St. Petersburg paradox so it goes like this suppose I have a game I'm going to play a game and it's it's a, a coin tossing game so if I toss a, a heads the first time so heads once I will get two dollars if I toss two heads I will get four dollars if I manage to get toss three heads, I will get eight dollars, and so on. Okay. So basically, it's two to the. I'm getting two to the power of the number of heads. Okay. So that's that's how much I'm. That's how much I'm uh, getting. I'm getting paid. The question is, how much would you pay for a, a game like this, right? So suppose this. Uh, in the same way that you'd pay for a raffle ticket, how much would you pay for something like this? That's a, that's a big question. Now, I think when I ask you this question, most of you would say, hey, maybe I'll pay uh, $3, uh, $5. Or if you're feeling really, really lucky, you'd probably pay, uh, I don't know, $20 at most, right? So to recover $20, I would have to get uh, five heads. So H, H, you know, you get the idea. That's uh, it will give me. Thirty-two dollars, right? So maybe you would pay twenty dollars, but if you were completely rational, right? So if you were, if you, if I, if I had infinite an infinite lifetime to play this game, um, it turns out that I should be paying uh, an infinite amount. Okay, so let's let's uh, work through the maths. So the probability of getting h equals x. Is going to be uh, half to the power of x. So basically, the the number of heads, the the probability of getting say two heads is going to be half to the power of two. The number, the probability of getting three heads is going to be half to the power of three, and so on, right? So to get the expected value, the expected value of my uh, of h, right? The expected value of h is going to be the sum of 
x equals 0 all the way up to infinity, right? Even though it's a small possibility, I need to take the fact that there can be an infinite number of heads, right? Um, it's going to be half to the power of x times my payout. So my payout in this case is, guess what? It's 2 to the power of x. Right, so the 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 chance of the the, the chance of me winning, uh, okay, so I should say x equals one to infinity. The chance of winning one heads times the payout. The chance of me winning two heads, which is a quarter times the payout, which is four, and so on. So if I write this out, basically what I'm going to get is something like this: half times two, plus a quarter times four, plus a eight times a eight, and so on. Right, so basically I have 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's an infinite amount of them, right? So this is equal to infinity. So the question is, this really doesn't make sense. Um, I need to pay an infinite amount, that's the expected amount, that's a fair price of this game, right? And I would expect to win, so basically I, would, I should be expecting to win an in infinite amount of money. But so this is where uh, utility functions come in. So I'll be talking about in that in the next lecture. But it's, it's, it's basically the idea of risk, right? So what we really didn't consider in this, uh, in this bit was risk. What is the risk? So if I, if I pay even $100, what is the risk of me losing that money, right? If I pay an infinite amount of money, what is the risk of me losing that infinite amount of money? So what we what i didn't show you and i will leave it to you as an exercise was show what variance is right so what is the variance of of this um, of this game right so basically it it turns out this will this will also end up being infinity right so i will i will, just as a reminder i will write down the uh the formula so the ver to find the variance of x you need to find the expectation of x squared minus the mean squared right so the, so the expectation that i just found out for you squared so it turns out this this will also end up being infinity right but i will leave that to you as an exercise um, if you have any questions and if you really want me to do this last part let me know but uh but that's it that's the introduction to insurance so thank you